Hi, I'm here at the ID Ticket Show with Helen Carlin from the Whole Centre. I think the Whole Centre is one of the most impressive organisations working in printed and hybrid electronics. Helen, tell us about the Whole Centre. Yes, so Whole Centre is a research institute based in uh, Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Uh, we work on flexible uh, uh, system in folds. Uh, one of our, uh, some of our examples are OLED lighting, PVs, thin film batteries. Uh, TFT based technologies such as flexible displays but more and more we are working on uh, technologies in hybrid printed electronics. Uh, here are some examples, one of them that we are very uh, proud of it and, and uh, working extensively the, uh, the past years is in mode electronics. We received also a very, very nice recognition from ID TechX organization. What about was that. new about this in mode electronics piece? So in mode electronics uh, Basically, the idea is to make the surfaces smart and integrate a lot of functionalities to the surface. Here we have integrated uh, OLED lighting, which is the first in the world. We have wow. touch panels here. Uh, we have, for example, integrated the sliders and also uh, functionalities like such as uh, NFC. So if we uh, put our telephone on the on the uh, Panel, the lights will go on, and uh, for example, you can use your mobile phone to customize a, a surface. Uh, and what has been your innovation in this? Has it been in the materials or actually the assembly of the product? And what has been the hardest thing in order for you to achieve this that you dealt with? Good question. So, as a research organization, we don't develop uh, materials, we have partners, we work collaborate extensively with them to uh, develop the best materials for these sorts of applications. Right. Uh, what, what is the key is that we are building up an ecosystem around an application, so from uh, end users, material providers, uh, machinery uh, developers and um, we also look at uh, how the process would look like because the, I, the, in the end we want to develop a process that is suitable for manufacturing in high volume uh, and, and, and uh, right. good quality. And so how do you now translate what you've done here into commercial product? How do you do that through your partners? What, what's the mechanism in which they can transfer this technology from you into commercial use? Yes. So we're looking at, um, we try to make the process as mature as possible. Right. And in that sense, uh, building up an ecosystem, an end user is able to uh, have the, mat uh, have the uh, product uh, developed with manufacturers who right. are uh, working on this domain using materials that has been uh, qualified for this application. Right, great. This, this makes the whole process much uh, more accessible and speed up the innovation right. in this domain. Great. Uh, this is an example of the newest uh, uh, in-mode electronics, so it's a, a kind of a, a car uh, uh, dashboard models, and here we have integrated touch panels, uh, sliders and NFCs into a new system. What sort of applications do you envisage this to be used in? So, uh, basically for in-mode electronics, we see a lot of interest from automotive industry. And, right. and they are the drivers from there. And obviously there are some key uh, uh, benefits of in-mode electronics, which are uh, reducing the uh, uh, light, uh, making the, uh, reducing the weight, making the whole application yeah. lightweight, but also adding functionalities to the surfaces. Right. And looking at autonomous driving, we would like to have the car as right. a, as extension of our house, as or part right. of our personality. So we right. want to communicate with the, every part in an in right. automotive. I was particularly interested by some of these samples you just have at the bottom here. If yes. I could take, if you don't mind me taking them out. So just attaching different size components onto flexible substrates is a huge challenge. Yes. How are you addressing that? So, uh, we work extensively with uh, um, uh, companies who make, for example, uh, adhesives, right. uh, but also with companies who are working on automated uh, pick and place of components. Right. Um, and at HOST, we develop a lot of uh, IPs on how to have the best bondage of components on a different substrate. This right. is a very thin, flexible soft substrate, but we're also looking at stretchable substrates. Uh. If you have a chip bonded to a stretchable substrate, then you have a lot of extra challenges, how the, do the, the chip stays con connected to the, the, the foil. Right. And there it becomes very important to develop new right. uh, uh, processes for that. And so what are the big challenges of printed and flexible electronics you're going to be working on next? Um, I think a lot goes into um, two domains for us. One is in medical applications. 
mm. looking at how you, we can measure uh, different uh, uh, biometrical uh, or uh, vital signs, parameters from the human body. There comes measurements, so developing new type of sensors and also uh, making the, uh, the whole uh, system uh, biocompatible that goes on the skin without irritation, that you can have it for a week uh, on your body uh, without any right. problems. That's one part of it, and the next part of it is, as obviously seen here, automotive industry, adding more functionalities, haptic feedback, touch, uh, replacing the buttons in a car, or the replacing displays in a new way into the car. I think they are all the keywords that we are looking at, and we will re reuse a lot of know-how that is already existing within the uh, whole center as well to develop these two applications. Thank you. Sure.